So, what is it with evil demons and ghosts and their obsession with midnight? The Midnight Man. It's a 2016 or 2018, the, the DVD doesn't really make it clear, horror film starring Robert England and Lynn Shea. And it's like you'd recognize those names from, of course, Nightmare on Elm Street and Insidious. And in this movie, there's, there's this girl who's sort of taking care of her grandmother and she has some friends over and they discover this box in her, in her grandmother's attic and they figure out there's this game of sorts inside this box. And this game summons this entity called the Midnight Man and of course they do it because without that we wouldn't have a movie. So essentially the rules of the game are, and this is sort of the abbreviated version because there's actually a lot of rules to this thing. Uh, you have to sign a piece of paper and you have to put, uh, you have to prick your finger and put put the blood next to your name, and then you sort of you light you light your individual candles. Then you put the put the names on the front door, and you knock like 24 times before midnight, something like that. And then after that, the midnight man is in your house. And after which, so how you survive the game is you keep your candle lit, and if your candle goes out, you have to light it. And you don't light it within 10 seconds the, the midnight man essentially comes and gets you however there's another way to protect yourself you can put yourself in a circle of salt which is supposed to act as a barrier against the midnight man and that's sort of like the basic things because otherwise the midnight man is going to come at you and use your worst fears against you so how is the movie it's it was a it's I'd never even heard of it until I saw it on the Walmart shelf and I kind of picked it up and really it was the look of the Midnight Man himself that sort of uh, drew me to it as like the concept. Like I like the idea that demons are obsessed with playing games of sorts and um, and how they're, they're tied to rules. However, the Midnight Man does it in a way that... It, that you know, demons are evil and unfair entities, and I always thought how that is odd that in like shows like Supernatural, where you're like, oh, I'll put a thing of salt around me, and I'll be protected from the ghost or the demon, or they can't cross the line. I always thought, what if there was like a bucket of water nearby, and the ghost just decided to pick it up and toss the water on on the circle, and there's a moment in this movie where the Midnight Man sees one of the characters in the circle after she's failed to sort of, after she's failed to relight her candle and she's like, you can't get me, I'm behind the circle. And he's like, I'm so sad. And he looks at this bucket of water, looks at the thing and I'm like, is he gonna do it? And he picks up the bucket of water and washes away the the circle of salt and it's like it's the only time I've ever I've ever seen a demon or an entity think to do this and that's the great thing about the Midnight Man is that he sort of cheats and bends the rules not like unreasonably but he's just sort of smart about he, how he plays his own game it's not like oh you you made a circle of salt and now I can't do anything but uh yeah, I mean, there's nothing in the rules that says that he can't get use something to get rid of the salt. Um, but yeah, it's just sort of, it's just sort of funny. It's, it's it's ingenious, and it's like the characters are are all right in the movie. It's just like it's sort of weird that when they find the box and they find the instructions, they just immediately start you know setting up for everything. It's like going to, going by the rules, and nobody is like, hey. This might be dangerous, but then again, it's like there are people all over the world playing with Ouija boards thinking that it's just a game and that there's nothing to it. So I guess in a way it's not that far of a stretch. And of course, Horak and Robert England is great in this game. I'm sorry, in this movie. He's great in the movie. He's he follows he's very much following the steps of like Peter Cushing and Vincent Price, where he's starring in these horror movies that sort of like doctor characters and smarter characters and he's he does play a doctor in the film he's a doctor and childhood friend of the grandmother played by Lynn Shea and uh, he's very good he has that like line of dialogue where 
he sort of knows what the deal is with the Midnight Man because it turns out that when uh, Lin Shea char character was younger and that's why she has the whole box thing she played the game and he was one of the people that survived it originally so sort of it's cool to see the two of them on screen together because like they, they have a couple of scenes where they're very good um, but Lin Shea is actually kind of over the top in this it's like it's hard for me to sort of criticize her acting and you know I, I guess it makes sense in the context of her characters because the grandmother's sort of losing her mind you don't know if she's doing these things certain things on purpose or if it's just accident or if it's because the midnight man is manipulating her um, but she she does carry that presence with her but she's definitely not the same character that she is in Insidious she's not the uh, she's not the heroic sweet uh, strong old lady she's uh, she's very disturbed in this movie and it definitely shows so what's your favorite horror movie that has to do with a game or where there are rules whether it's like candy man or the bye bye man god forbid or even the saw movies have like a game in it um, and, and what is it with people's fascinations with playing these these games that that uh, that summon these terrible entities again the midnight man it's not breaking any new ground essentially but it's it's got some some fresh things and some cool things that make it that make it cool and a worthwhile watch it's not scary or pants off scary it's it's worthwhile watching with uh, with a couple of friends and it's uh, especially if you're a fan of robert england and if you're a fan of the horror movie genre in general it's it's a worthwhile watch i would rent it and you know only buy it if if you're if you really end up liking it um uh, again it's got some good scares and the, the monster is super super cool the midnight man is very very smart and creepy and i like the design of the character with the hood and the, the wooden mask that looks like it's almost made out of teeth uh he's he's very very he's very very interesting and if if they made another one um it's like i would like to see them it up a little bit maybe take it to like an abandoned asylum or something or something else to just sort of add a new flavor to it as opposed to just having it in a creepy old house as always if you like what you see here subscribe below check out all my books on amazon i'm releasing a new urban fantasy book called night of the half angel on july 13th be sure to check that out as always thanks for watching bye